Hey folks, I'm CPC Gamer, and welcome to the stream. It is a glorious Friday. I'm having such a good Friday, you guys don't even know. I'm loving it. And we will be talking about this as we get to the game, which I'm just going to get to straight away. Um, because I have been looking forward to this, and I just want to get down to it. <clears throat> so let's go. Here we are. So, at the end of the last stream, we beat the gym, uh, fifth gym, which was uh, uh, this guy, Petalberg, that's the one. We beat Norman, and uh, it was the most Hail Mary victory I've ever had. <laughs> Ooh, Wally's house. All right. And we were told to visit Wally's house, um, so let's do that. Hi there, Rose. How are Wally's become very healthy since he went to Burden Turf Town? We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally. It made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's got such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. <gasps> nice! New, well, come on in. Happy to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. That's the one that I want. Alright. So we got the ability to use that outside of combat uh, in our last stream. And I'm pretty sure, actually, can any of my dudes learn that? Here's me getting ready to switch them out. I don't actually know if anyone can learn this. No. Okay. So. Do you know what? I've had a very good day. JD Mew, and Rickstress, and everyone else who's watching and lurking. Oh no, who can learn surf? Probably you? Oh, and who do I tag out? Okay, real talk. We're going to be surfing, so there's going to be lots of water Pokemon. I, I, I don't... I don't want it. No, no. He's staying in my team for always and forever. Tissue, you can go there, because you will rust. We'll pick you up later. You say this, Mew. I'm, I'm hoping that Zigzagoon can learn Surf. I know that Lanoon can. Oh, thank God for that. What a fortuitous name as well. Flotsam. Uh, sand attack. Get out of here. Nice. If it makes you feel any better, I think because of your profile pictures, they tend to be raccoons. That tends to be a gap that I fill in my mind. Look, we're surfing now! Oh, hello. Where were you when I was dying in that gym? Ah. Oh, ooh, actually, I don't have a Pokemon in Petalburg. I can catch something here. I mean, to my mind, that is how I see it. Is that a bad thing? I can change that if you like. I don't want to get it wrong with my friends, let me tell you. I'm better than that. There is... There, there is a bird <laughs> on my window still looking in. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, 
thank you very much, uh, donating to the new home old games challenge. They're actually a tuxedo cat. All right then, Rin is back. Welcome back. I know you mentioned you were out and about. I'm glad you're back. I hope you're feeling better. You mentioned feeling unwell lately, and I hope that is that is sorted. I have a message from Rickstress who says that um, I, I will get back to that. Rickstress, don't you worry about a thing. What's in this pond? <laughs> Probably more marrows, right? Ooh. A thing. I think my choice of Pokemon down here is going to be a Marrow. So let's catch one of those. Oh, I don't want to do seismic toss. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And so it did. Honestly, raccoon is one of those words that I'm never a hundred percent sure on. Um, it's like occur, occurring, occurred. I don't know how many C's or R's or what the hell? Nice. I know who. I know exactly who you're gonna go to. Look, look, I'm swimming. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? You can't do this. I'm swimming on a weird pointy raccoon. It's pretty great. No reflection to it, though. That's. That's wild. Also, I really like that about the this Pokemon game in particular, is that you you can hear wild Pokemon as you're out and about. Like we just heard a little Marrow cry. I think that's cute. Right. I don't like that you're level ten, but sure if. if If you live, I could catch you. Alright, here's number five. Do not, do not get this wrong. This is the last chance I have to catch one in, um, a Petalburg. Yeah? Yeah. And then... Actually, I did have a thought about what I could do next. Um, and that is to visit the, the Pokemon Corporation. And that is to go to the Pokemon Corporation in the next town over. Because that's probably where we get the fossil revived, right? It's the only science place we have been to thus far. So, yeah. Oh, that's more like it. Level 23. I'll be happy to add you to my team. And, I believe I can evolve you immediately. Because I have a... Right, don't crit. Do not crit. Please, cable car, do not crit. I'll do. Pokeball's not going to work. Well, how about that? We caught Pika Blue. Marrow's oil-filled tail acts much like a life preserver. If you see just its tail bobbing on the water's surface, it's a sure indication that this Pokemon is diving beneath the water to feed on aquatic plants. Do we have a pick for a name for Miss Marrow over here? I, I have two. I have two ideas in mind, but of course, it's always open to the chat if you would like to uh, do a point redeem and, I don't know, make it something silly. Oh, 
honestly, I, I thought it was uh, full of air. Oil Baron? Oil Baron. <laughs> Oil Baron! Hang on. There you go. I'm never entirely sure which setup I have stream to stream, and I always get it wrong. Oil Baron. You were... Marrow. Mew. So I was going to either call it Peekabloom, like what we thought it was called. Um, ooh. Because you're going to be stronger than Zigzagoon, aren't you? Yes, you are. Thanks, Flotsam. What a pal. Now, I do believe... Um... No. Huh. I thought... Nope. That one. Why did I think I had a water stone? I don't know. Well, I guess I need to find one of those now. That's how you evolve that Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Don't check. Oil Baron wants to learn Surf! Yes! Let's get rid of Tail Whip. That for a time being. And heal up, and then we can continue. So, how's everybody's Friday going? I know we're all happy because it is Friday, but like, have we been up to anything? Have we done much of anything? Tell you what I did, I worked, and then I came home to do this. And I've been looking forward to this all day. Eh. I need to fight a level 5 burb. Get out of here. Empirical is playing Kirby 2. Mew is an EP person. That's fair. Speaking of which... Man, am I glad I didn't catch one of those when I came in here. I didn't catch anything when I came in here. But, um... You know. Honestly, Empirical, I could live in the shower. If it were... Hang on, hang on. If it weren't horrendously bad for the environment... I would just live in the shower, um, because it's wonderful, and it feels great. I know some people don't like it, some of my friends don't like it, they, they very, um, they don't like the sensation, which is fair. Not I. I'll... Are you gonna fight me? Oh, neat! That's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. It's a Miracle Seed. If a Pokémon holds that item, its Grass-type moves become stronger. Besides the Miracle Seed, I think there are other convenient items for Pokémon to hold. What you want is leftovers. Always grab leftovers and put that on your ace. Like, if you've got a Blissey or something... Unstoppable. Toxic Blissey with leftovers. And then you just wait.
gets warm, and if you're hungry, you get kind of dizzy. I can see that. I know... S Without naming names, because it's not my place to, and it's kind of a personal thing anyway, um, my friends who don't like showering, they don't like the sensation of the water like that on their skin. Which... I, I get, because I'm the other way, I think that's, it's quite a nice sensation, but, you know, I, I get why people would. Route 104. Ooh, actually, I can go and find all sorts of hidden stuff now, can't I? Like over there, there's a gap, so there's going to be something over there to pick up. I know exactly what I'm going to do with you. I am going to give you to Spindlewim and Dizzy Punch is going to go up. Initially, I was going to give that to Uproar, but Dizzy Punch is better. The way you look, you must be a trainer, no? Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow berries or use them. No, it's not, because... Clock battery's dead. I'm growing nothing down here. Can I get through there? I can. Why would I? Why, why would you let me do that game? That was just silly. Right, so... My thought is... Devoncore! There you go. Right. Hello and welcome to the Devon Corporation. We're proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. It sounds like they've recovered the ripped off Devon goods. Oh yeah, there was a cool dog in there. It's mine now. He's a good boy. Hi there, you're always welcome here. I'm trying to visually reproduce the dreams, but it's not going well. Ah, that's right. I'm trying to help you guys resurrect Pokemon from fossils, and it's working. Wait, I think you have there. Is that a Pokemon fossil? Would you like to bring that Pokemon back to life? I can, with my newly developed fossil regenerator. Excellent, let's do this right away. I... Game. I think... This is gonna be the old... Leave the room and come back trick. <laughs> Gotta raise those event flags, right? Let's... Let's go do that. Has someone made a creepypasta about the fossil Pokemon going on a rampage like Jurassic Park? Thanks for waiting! Your fossilized Pokemon has been brought back to life. The fossil was an ancient Pokemon. Anorith it was. Oh, you got too many Pokemon. You have no room for this one. Ah, dang it! I don't think anybody has. Mostly, what people focus on with Pokemon is Lavender Town and uh, hyper-realistic blood and Luigi was there and he was dead Oil Baron I'll come back for you don't mind me I never got the whole Lavender Town thing like it's incredibly dark for the Pokemon game but also I don't know, it's not like I particularly fancy making it, you know, the source of all my woes. Anyway, here's Anorith. Want to give a nickname? Yes, I do. Now, this one has been pre-provided by a disappearing act. 
we're going to call this Pokemon Ho Silver. Everybody say hi, Ho Silver. Away with you. Can you learn Surf? That would be hilarious. You cannot learn Surf. Alright then. So, I, uh, well, here's the thing. Hi would have fit, but that's not the in-joke between a disappearing act and I. So, this one time, uh, Bible camp. Yeah, I know. Um, we went to the after hours youth thing. And there was a trio of, um, I guess comedians, performers, whatever. And their bit was that they were the Acoustic Brothers. And they performed music the way Jesus would have performed his music. Acoustically. And they would do surprisingly good unplugged covers of, like, Firestarter. And Tragedy was one of them. And I always forget what the last one was. Anyway. The, the the three acoustic brothers, they were called Dan Seek. Everybody say hi, Dan Seek. And there was Azakite. Everybody say hi, Azakite. Never touch the stuff. And Ho Silver. Everybody say hi, Ho Silver. Away with you. And they, it, it's one of those bits that like I just appreciated the musical joke when I was younger, but now that I'm older. That they were absolutely going for the youth pastor who is down with the young folks. And it's it's spot on. It's it's perfect. And it is something we bring up often. A disappearing actor. Alright, let's get this battle on! What? What? I thought I had already defeated you! <laughs> okay. Maybe not. This could not have been a worse matchup, but that's fine. Um, they also did a second batch. They did um, the Pool of Art of Broken Dreams, and I forget because nobody recorded that one. A disappearing act will be happy to tell you um, because, man, it was a really good bit. Now, Mickey, I have plans for Mickey. Um, he's going to unlearn Rock Smash, essentially as soon as I get the opportunity to unlearn Rock Smash. And I'm going to teach him Bite. Because Bite is so much cooler. Uh, Mark Hitter. Rick's just going to take this one. Um, for some reason, I thought that... Arcanine can learn... Yes, I had to think about what it was called. I've only been playing these games since 1999. Um, <laughs> I thought that Arcanine could learn Crunch. Or Growlithe could learn Crunch. Nope! I, I made it up. Um, so where am I? I don't know. Let's heal up a little. And keep exploring, how about? I have the Acoustic Brothers set, like the first three sets. It's on YouTube. I found it. Um, I may have to share it. You may only make one secret base. Would you like to move to the secret base near 116? No. I would like to make it in a tree, but also, you know, maybe not that one. Hey, you, let's fight! Hmm, you seem rather capable. Let me keep you company. Police? Police?
Oh, I'm so glad I'm finding Pokemon at or above my level again. I'm gonna level up so much. In theory, this Hariyama's uh, not going down for anything. Might have to be over to Mickey. Oh, Rickstress, I'm sorry. Mickey, let's go, flamethrower. Incidentally, a disappearing act watched um, my pr oh goodness what a disappearing act watched my previous video and asked, "Hey, when you got to the gym, why'd you stop using Dig? Dig was doing really, really well." And the answer is, I literally don't know. <laughs> Dig was doing really well. Why did I stop doing that? Probably could have won and cheated the system, but, you know. Would that have gotten the super cool ending that we got? Oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> because all I've got now, actually, actually, cable car, um, Revenge! Yes! Right. And that's super powered because I just took damage. Splendid! Get them levels. That's exactly what I wanted. And it also lets me do uh, this. Air candy. Because now, it's not going to like completely reset a half fully XP gauge. Right. Maybe, maybe this is not where I should have been. <laughs> I'm sure I'm glad the Pokemon are stronger, and then everyone went and died. You're level seven, that's fine. I'll just I'll just fight you for the sake of it. There you go. You get some training going. Alright, you are the one that I have just done. You're down here. Nothing down there. Okay. People who are more attentive than I am. Did I link He Skate in my Discord at any point? Because it makes me laugh every time. And uh, I should if I haven't already. Right. Do I want to continue going up that way? I don't know. Where am I going? that way. I vaguely know what's over there. And it's something cool that will literally never get used. Alright, that's not worth it. I'm gonna... Start running again until I find some stronger Pokemon. 
much as I would like to get some levels on the boys. Cable car is not getting levels. Doing that. You know what I could do? Is the thing that I have already done in this stream. Which is, uh... The Pokemon Go Away Flute. Let's do that. There we go. So, one of the reasons that today has been a good day. The, uh, oh, I get to listen to Verdant Turf's music for a little bit. Um, the company that I work for... It is our 30th birthday. We pour berries into a bowl of milk from two months ago. Anyway, it's our 30th birthday. Why? Why can I come down here? I don't know. Um, anyway, they've decided that they're going to lean into the child of the 90s bit. So they've... For this weekend, hopefully the rest of the week, but at the very least this weekend, they've replaced the music on the playlist, nothing but 90s. And led me to do banger after banger after banger all day. And the customers are into it, and the staff is into it, and it, we are loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it like that. Yes, that's on the playlist. It's great. Do I have one on Route 118? I do not. 118. I want to see what land Pokemon we have. I want to fight you. A good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? We're of identical minds. Take this good rod. Wherever there's water, try your luck at fishing. I think I shall. Uh, that's in key items, isn't it? Yes, good rod. This game right here has some absolute nonsense when it comes to fishing. Um, not the actual fishing part. There is, there is one Pokemon. I, am I not pushing button? Apparently I don't know how to fish. Yes! Thank you very much, Fishing Command. I need to tw tweak that a little bit, but I appreciate it very much. What do you mean it got away? I pushed the button! I don't want to fish anyway. I'm a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm raising the Pokemon I caught. Pokemon Ruby fishing. <laughs> a series of ellipses appear prior to the text, oh, a bite, which is when the player should press the A button exactly once. Yeah. 
Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, this required a series of confirmations when using Battle Rods, and the Pokemon will also get away if the player presses A or B at the wrong time. Uh, okay, wild. You can also fish off the back of a surfing Pokemon. Uh, oh, there you go. I've also learned, apparently, um, there are Pokemon abilities that make it easier to catch uh, fishing Pokemon. Sure, that's effective, why not? I'm not gonna do that again. That was great. Yeah. Um, it says here, if uh, the first po Pokemon of the player's party has suction cups or sticky hold, 92.5% chance for a bite when fishing. That's pretty clever. There's other things like that in um, some of the Pokemon games as well. Like if you have Flame Body, then it makes eggs hatch quicker. Oh! Once per, you don't just mash it. Now I can catch a Turbo Magic up. <laughs> Flash on, son! Are you winning? <laughs> oh, good times. <gasps> That's an illegal move! That's an illegal move! I thought that um, Pokemon, not Pokemon, uh, Magikarp specifically, should, it doesn't do anything. That's the point. That's why you have to put in the effort to, to, to get, it gets tackled, level 21. Like, doesn't it evolve before that? No, it doesn't evolve before that because that would be way too powerful. What's this, number four? <sighs> it evolves at 20. Fair. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to catch a Pokemon on Route 118. Right, um, let's... Rickstress is nearly leveled up, so let's put you there. Oh, you're Rose, hi! Do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've become? Okay, Q interview! Oh, there, there you go, just another, another message from a disappearing act. Hopefully, they appreciate um, me telling their story. Right. Detective Pikachu. What a good movie. Um, there's one bit where the soundtrack is Loudred's beatboxing, and that's fantastic. Most of that movie was great. I should probably have focused on him. But I'll also take that. Right. Karate Chop. And also, uh, Secret Power. You know what? I thought Uproar hit everyone, like Surf. Just, just everyone in the arena gets clattered. And then 
just to make sure everything is okay, Rickstrus can have a potion. It's only garbage when someone else does it, and not me. That's the rule. an intense battle! Did you get all that on camera? Eat! Do you <laughs> Do you remember? That's the quote you gave us at the battle clincher last time. I never ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? You will? Thank you! Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Yeah, that's a perfect clincher! I get the feeling this will make a great TV show! There's a chance to love us on TV, so make sure to look for us! Okay, we'll be seeing you! I don't think Zarkrai has gotten enough love for e-children as a catchphrase. <laughs> Hi. You're that trainer I met in Dewford. I forgot what voice this guy had, so now he's that. Oh, okay, you're Rose. I'll remember it. Rose. In this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Do you raise different types? Or do you raise Pokemon of a certain type? What do you think as a trainer? Sorry, it's not my place to ask, is it? Well, anyway, I hope to see you again. I'm not gonna replant these ones. Because they're not going to regrow, and I'm only getting two per? No, thank you. Right, I'm pretty sure I have one encounter left on Route 118, so... Make it a good one! It was not a good one. None. But, with level 24, uh, that's probably going to be enough to uh, get a level up. And so we did. So generally speaking in Pokemon, the rule is you can cancel evolutions whenever you want. Unevolved forms learn moves quicker. Further evolved forms get higher stats. I tend to push for stats. Um, so we have Machoke now. And... Yeah, let's head back. I might want to pick up on... If these guys are using, like, Thunder Wave and stuff, I'm probably going to want to pick up Paralyze Heals and top up my dudes at the Pokemon Center. So let's go and do that. There we go. Now! One of the reasons that I wanted to have um, Cable Car in my team is because this family has... No, I don't want to do that again. No, 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 thank you very much. I'm just going to save. Thank you. So, um, this family has some of the best stats in the game. Genuinely, um, Machamp is on legendary level. Um, and it's the difference... Essentially, you have another Pokemon in your team if you have Machamp. And the way to get him is you go over here and you talk to this person and you have to trade Machoke and that's how it evolves. Um, obviously that's a bit of a problem with this setup because that would require me to have like a Game Boy Advance and a hard copy of a third gen Pokemon game and a recently refurbished trade cable.
I really hope that picked up on the microphone. Um, because in my head, that bit was absolutely hilarious. Um, and if you didn't hear anything, of course you didn't hear anything, chat. You're mad! It, it didn't make a sound. And it's always been like this. B babe, what's wrong? You, you love being gaslit. Anyways, um, I'm gonna trade some Pokemon. Are you ready for the nerdiest thing I have ever done? Get hype. Oh, I really hope this works. All right, here we go. Who said anything about cheating in Perko Woodland? I'm not cheating. This is a perfectly legitimate strategy that you are allowed to do in Pokemon. Thank you. Look, it's the boys! It's it's Mickey, Craftwork, the beautiful Chorus, Bullslapper, <laughs> Criddle, and Toast. So we are going to send over a cable car, and we are going to receive Toast. Reason being, when you trade. Um, Haunter. Haunter also evolves when you trade. Oh, I forgot that the Game Boy Advance did this! Man! The original Game Boy did that as well. When you did the trade, you got to see a little dude running along the cable. And it was... Right? I thought it was the future! The fact that I can trade from one cartridge to the next, and like, sure, it's just, um, it's just data, right? It's just filling in sprite tables and spreadsheets, and what sound was that? Is, is that the sound that Gengar makes? What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it isn't. Anyways, um, let's send our guys back because I'm not actually going to to use toast. I just did that because otherwise we're sitting looking at um, a blank screen for a little bit while my Game Boy Advance screen does some stuff. So um, don't mind me. When people say, hey, why do you play games on original hardware? This is why. It's because I get to do stuff like this. Look at him! Our boy has grown! Now is Strong Man. Aw, oh, Mew, you missed Gengar? I'm so sorry. Well, I'm gonna go to the, um, to the Pokedex anyway, because that... I'm pretty sure that's not the sound that it makes, but, you know. Right, let's cancel out of you. Also, it's really weird to me that, like... So, th um, this character here, the one that's moving around now, this is me on my Game Boy Advance, right? And looking on the screen, I see Leaf. But because those sprites aren't in this game, it's, it's another May. Weird, right? I think it's weird. Yes, the link will be terminated. You'll be escorted out of the room. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, bear me a second. Let me just save you and save you. Amazing. Now I can sit back in my chair. Hi, how's it going? I was on the floor. So! Where are you? Right, Haunter! 
Haunter is a dangerous Pokemon. If one beckons you while floating in darkness, you must never approach it. This Pokemon will try to lick you with its tongue and steal your life away. Yeah, that's the noise that I thought Gengar made, so what the hell was the noise when we traded? Sometimes, on a dark night, your shadow, thrown by a streetlight, will suddenly and startlingly overtake you. It is actually a Gengar running past you, pretending to be your shadow. Uh, and then a little further down the line... I never know the order of these Pokémon anymore. Machoke's thoroughly toned muscles possess the hardness of steel. This Pokemon has so much strength it can easily hold aloft a sumo wrestler on just one finger. Machamp has the power to hurl anything aside. However, trying to do any work requires care and dexterity, causes its arms to get tangled. Trying to do any work requiring care and dexterity causes its arms to get tangled. This Pokemon tends to leap into action before it thinks. A lot of people like Ghastly Haunted Gengar. I am one of those people. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love that spooky boy. Um, anyways, the reason that I did that is because... As I say, Machamp? Exponentially higher stats compared to uh, Machoke. Yeah, game, game. Yeah, look at my boy! What a cool boy. Oh man, I could have caught one of these guys! Oh well! I really wanted to have a Frostlass on my team. I, I think Frostlass is absolutely fantastic. Um. Problem being, very little in the way of a decent move spread. Do you want a low-powered ice attack or three more low-powered ice attacks? No thanks! So there's something that I don't get with the... The ori original run of, of trading Pokemon. So in Pokemon Gen 1, there are four Pokemon that you get through evolution. They are Gengar and Machamp, as we have seen, and there's also Alakazam and Golem. And I get some of that. Criddle, hello, welcome on in. Please enjoy work. As best you can. Summer also. Hope you're having a good time. Heck yeah. Uh, this, this one's the top boy. You missed me doing some total nerd business. It was great. Oh yeah, this guy's going to want to fight me, isn't he? Take flight, my bird Pokemon! Um. Yeah, so... This is a bad idea. Let's not do that. Uh, Spinder. So the way it goes is... Gengar is strong against Alakazam, who is strong against Machamp, who is strong against Golem. So you've got that through Brute. But Golem isn't strong against any of the other three. It just... is a really tough Pokemon. I don't get why that one is one that you have to train to evolve. There's also trade to evolve Pokemon in this game, like in Gen 3. Every Gen has trades to evolve Pokemon. Um, but I forget what they are. So, so we'll see, shan't we?
Incidentally, Empirical's comment there, no cheating, that goes back to something that I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it last stream, that, um, faint attack, which also always hits. Um, I have access to quite a few more TMs in my Fire Red game, which is where we just traded to and from. And I could teach those TMs to some of my boys over here. They did take flight. Um, but that's kind of cheating. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get access to those in this game through legitimate means. Actually legitimate means. And not... Legitimate means. Right? Golem is a nice guy. I I feel like I... I think because I had to trade to get him, I never used him as a kid. And I, I completed the Pokedex um, in red as much as I could. I never got Mew, because they never released Mew until... The, like, 2010s or something? <laughs> You just couldn't have it. Um, but I got him because my sister had blue version and we traded and mom says it's one of the best Christmases she's ever had. It, it, it was... Peace treaties were signed so that the two of us could work together to complete our respective Pokedexes with one another. And... 119, new Pokemon time, maybe. I see all that tall grass. Let's put the good boy up front now. Yeah. Hey! It's a no-go. Tall grass snares bike tires. No way you can cycle here. can still rummage around and find stuff, though. DO I WANT COOL BANANA DINOSAUR?! HELL YEAH I WANT COOL BANANA DINOSAUR! I DON'T EVEN NEED TO SEE WHAT ELSE IS ON THIS ROUTE. I DON'T THINK I'M GONNA ADD IT TO MY TEAM, BUT I REALLY WANT COOL BANANA DINOSAUR. WHAT DO WE CALL IT? Meme Lord. Not really. Um, Pilamon. Do, do you know what the problem is with that empirical woodland? I don't even know if you're joking. Is Pilamon a, a Digimon? It could be. I don't think this Pokeball is going to work. I should upgrade. Oh. Oh. No. No. Do you know what? I'm not going to do that because I'll reset the counter. Summer, thank you very much for contributing to the new home, Old Games. Um, I don't believe I have explained to you, um, so you may not have heard, um, I recently moved house. So, we're going to celebrate being in my new house by playing some really old games from, like, the 80s. The bunches of fruit around Tropius' neck are very popular with children. This Pokemon loves fruit and eats it continuously. Apparently, its love is for... Apparently, its love for fruit resulted in its outgrowth of fruit. Alright, your name is... Pilamon. And Pericle named you. The Mimic Circle was formed by people who like to mimic. A battle starts the instant we meet. Thank you very much. It was... 
genuinely incredibly stressful. Um, like, moving is always stressful. No one likes doing it. This was way more stressful. <laughs> Which games do I have in mind? Well, it is going to be a collection of games that I had on the Amstrad CPC. The, the, the little computer thing that gave me my name. Not Cass. The I gave me that name. The other one. Um, because it's... It, it's a pretty niche... Thing, but there's a lot of people who enjoy it. Um, and generally speaking, nobody really knows what it is. So it's really, really interesting for me to A, go back to games that I... Nice! Go back to games that I wasn't very good at as a kid. I just enjoyed playing them. And to see how I do now. And also to show off... A bunch of games that like you you probably don't know what they are it's a pretty cool game on the list called on the run you ever heard of that probably not oh mummy is on the list that's a great game I could have just done that in the previous fight. Let's be... Look at that! Flamethrower. And win. <laughs> I feel like I deserve that. I've done two CP streams so far. Um, one was just a batch of games that I had when I was younger. One of them was movie tie-ins. And yeah, it, it's it's a lot of fun. So we're going to have a bit of a, a team fundraiser to... Not actual fundraiser. Don't send me money. <gasps> if you step forward, we step forward. If you turn right, we turn too. Not Monty on the run. Um, although that should be on the list. Because I am... It has been a hot minute, but I'm relatively confident that Monty on the Run shows up and I want to be the guy, doesn't it? I know that at the very least it inspired I want to be the guy. Um... Yeah. Zarkrai, thank you very much for the look. Zarkrai, thank you very much for Eat Children. It, I keep forgetting it. So it's a new joke every time. It's always funny. Good job, Rextrus. I'm sorry about straight murdering you in Spira yesterday. Are we at an impasse? Are you going to keep doing that? Just look, you're on the field. You're getting levels. But if you win, I lose. The music shows up and I want to be the guy. Alright, okay. For some reason, I thought that the, the... At the very least, the mansion and basement section... I thought that showed up in the game. Ooh, I've nearly got 30. I nearly have 30, everybody. I don't think I can 
level you up above the badge level. I mean, I can, but it will take far more time than I am prepared to offer. Maybe if I just do nothing but Pokemon leveling. Which I might, because it's not like I'm going to get no leveling done in Final Fantasy X 2. The mimic circle. We mimic what you do. Pretty sure you don't, because otherwise you would have sent out some good Pokemon. Anyway, oh, speaking of which, this may actually uh, spell disaster for Mickey. Maybe not. I'm just going to come out and say it, and Empirical Woodland may agree with me. Um, I think the wrestling smack talk line, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster. I think that's a pretty hype line. I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on to them somehow. But it turns out there's an HM move called fly? I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? I don't know. I... I really like the maths promo. I think that fat asses is probably better because it is just unhinged raving. Also includes the line, you gotta run lickety split, which is the least threatening thing. But coming from Scott Steiner, I, I, yes, sir, I will run lickety split. No, come back, Zink! <laughs> Zink! <laughs> hey. You spoke to me, so you want to challenge me? Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing! Oh, here we go. Is this what we're doing? Empirical <laughs> Woodland, that's a good, I like that. All right, Tentacool. Maybe don't use Absorb, because I actually do use Absorb. It's probably going to poison me, because Tentacle tends to have Liquid Ooze. Oh, it doesn't. Alright. So that means this guy's got Clear Body. What does that do? I don't remember. You know what? That's not working. Maybe I should just use Pursuit. I feel like that hits a little harder. I I stand by WrestleQuest not being the best game. Um, mainly because it kept going stream-wise, and I think that's what put me off. But, 
some absolutely stellar jokes, including Sting disguising himself as Sting. That is, that was a fantastic visual gag. Good job, Dave. The hell you caught a fee bass while surfing? Golly gee, an ugly carp looking Pokemon that can only use Splash, but it evolves into Redacted? Wow! Well, uh, never before has had Pokemon here. Like, when I mention certain things about, um, uh, cable car. When I mentioned certain things about this generation just recycling ideas, that's one of them. Why is fight strong against dark? I don't know. I guess because of the phrase, fight the darkness? I don't know. I don't have a clue about what it takes to win. That was a really cool transition. I like it. I like how I brought Oil Baron with me because she's a really strong Pokemon. And then it's like, I haven't used her yet. That's fine. I don't need to. Yeah, apparently, Wrap and Constrict are two different moves. I didn't know. I mean, I did. I always know that. I just forget which one is which. Oops. <laughs> oh, look at you. For someone on adventure, you're traveling awfully light. I'm gonna have to go back down and fight that person as well. That's fine. Yeah, that fight's going nowhere. Not a fan of status moves in the Pokemon games. I used to be really down on the people who were like, hey, let's have a Pokemon battle. No status changes though. But uh, yeah, I agree. Hate it. I like it. Um, I think it's one of those ones where the damage changes based on a stat that I don't know what it is, and I'm never able to work it out. <laughs> I 
Well, two could play at that game, she said. Oh, Mew, amazing! Is it one of those things where if you explain it to me, I will understand it? Or is it so far above my head that I don't know? Pretty specific to your system? Well, that's fine. Um, not everything has to be explained away, and sometimes a mystery is all it takes. Point is, I'm glad you were able to figure out the workaround and get it done. This... You could have at least leveled up from that, Rix. That's fine. Um, this is me at work or in the cash office usually. Something has gone wrong. I know. You'll fix it. And I do. Can your Pokemon use its secret power on a big pile of grass and make a secret base? Uh, yeah, probably, nerd. This reminds me of a section in, um... We Love Katamari. Is it We Love Katamari? Yeah, We Love Katamari! Where there's just this massive log bridge with centaurs on it. And the trick is to get too big to pick up the logs and pick up the bridge. Who has the knowledge and technique for survival? Shaft! Sorry, had to. Um... Oh. <laughs> well then! Rickstress, out you go. It's you again. So many headbutts. Like an NJ fight. Not my joke. That was a disappearing act. They delivered it far more confidently than I did. Good job, Dave! I didn't have enough Pokemon know-how. Let's put Mickey up front. And let's... How far back is the Pokemon Center? It's a ways back. Let's pick up Rickstress. I can buy more of those. I got off in the weeds, literally at this point. Look at me! Uh, but yeah, Summer, the, you mentioned the, the C64. The CPC is a slightly less good version of that. I'll show you the true potential of me and my bird Pokemon. There's a lot of very similar games, so you've got Monty on the run, and Alvidazan Monty, and Mutant Monty, and that there, there were other characters. Don't worry. Um, I'm just trying to think of what crossovers do you have, like, Jack the Nipper is one of them. Uh, Rodland? I liked Rodland. That game was great. So if you're familiar with some of these games, and that style of games, it'll be interesting to see... Um, what the ports look like. And we can do that, because y'all are contributing to the fundraiser. Point Razor. Continue not sending me money. It has time to say, everybody! 
Moo Moo Milkmaid is here with friends. I, uh, pardon me just one second, because I have uh, this tab open in another window, and there you go. Now I am not watching myself. Good times. Moo was just chatting. Uh, they are having a good time. Just hanging out with chat and being ourselves. We were talking a lot about names because that's come up a lot lately. And um, sending presents to people. And also, there's a, a new person in Moo's Herd who is starting to stream. So that's an exciting thing, isn't it? I thought so. Um, if you and also Nins need to go take care of yourselves, please do. Yes, there you go. Go uh, do chores and journey and uh, be safe. Have a good time. I'll catch you soon. Also, I sent you a message. Go, go check that out. It's a nice message. This doesn't show up on the, um, the chat window left of the stream. But this always cracks me up when it says, Moo Moo Milkmaid. A raider from Moo Moo Milkmaid. I would hope that Moo was one of the raiders from her own stream. Twitch. Thank you very much for the confirmation. I wonder if Secret Power just uses a different, um, like a different attack animation every fight. I was going to say, what are you? If you're not on your guard, you're in for some pain. I thought that was something to go interact with and not like orc camouflage. Oh, lovely. Seems like the animation depends on the terrain, just like the effect. Ah. I know it says that the, the effect is different from place to place, and I figured that's going to be the arena that you are in. Do you know what? That's probably why um, they have different styles of arena in stuff like... Battle Coliseum. Battle Revolution? The Wii one. That was super cool. And they animated literally everything. And they never did it ever again. Um. Man, I wish I had tissue with me. Tissue wouldn't have let me down. Cable car! Get him! Grab him and yeet him into space. Here we go, yeet! That was actually a pretty good attack. It's not very effective, but friggin' look at it! Ninjas. That's going to be Spindawin, because Ninjas gets faster and faster, and Spinda has two always hits attacks, which... Oh, dang! That's what you want. I 
like Moo. Moo's pretty cool. I'm glad that she randomly raided on in one day uh, during Beacon Pines. And, like, from here we friend. You're surprisingly good. Heck yeah, I am. I'm great. Um, yes. Yeah, so, we need to wait for the controller to start responding. And we heal Cable Car. That, that's what the F is for. F is for friend. Right, your birds. So... The vast sky holds untold promise. Nothing can compare to the sheer exhilaration of flight. Exhilaration is another word that I'm bad at spelling. I always think there's a second I in it. As noted by my duty pronunciation. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this man's eyeshadow and eyeliner? How smug this man. Down and out. Oh, I could have just gone up there and kept going. Weather Institute. We're standing lookout here. Hey, you, stay away from the Weather Institute. It's not safe. That's gonna be a whole damn thing, isn't it? All right. Let's go home. Let's top up our health, I suppose. Unless... No, because that's... You don't know who I am, do you? But I also don't know you. So we'll battle. The absolute audacity of somebody in the Pokemon world to go, <coughs> Do you know who I am? If you're not G -G -G Gary Oak, then you're nobody. I don't care, kid. That's gonna work. Pretty sure Volbeat's got some degree of electrical component to it. Nope! It just is a lightning bug. Uh, let's change over to Mickey. Cause you know, you know what's good? is, um, uh, fire, fire against bug. Do you know what, Mew, as well? She's a good friend. Like, I'm taking this. Um, I came into her stream today and I said hello. And she says, howdy, Chaos, in, like, cowgirl voice, and I melt. I just become pool on floor.
I was gonna go fight that guy to the left, but sure, I guess I'll fight this guy over here. Hey, Zigzagoon. How you doing? Um, Dizzy Punch! Do I... No. I'm... No. Spinda's gonna stay up front, because I love Spinda. I will just go back and buy some more potions. That's what I'll do. After I fight this guy. So, we finally meet. My bug Pokemon will keep you company. For the first time. For the last time. What a great mo Why did I sleep on Spinda? Like, every time I played this game, I'm like, ah, I don't want that. Doofy looking panda in my team. That's not very good. <laughs> but now that I'm older and I just go, boom. I immediately want it in my team. <laughs> and it's great. Mickey can actually stay out. Try and get some, like, even leveling done. Is that a shiny? No. Right? Because shiny Pokemon appear and do a little twirly thing. I wish we'd never met. I want to mimic you some more. Can you hurry up and move? Ah, oh, jeez. Bird Pokemon that fly elegantly in the sky. They're the best. It's fine. Spinda's still up front. Um, she can do... Uh, found the bolt. What was it? Shockwave? Yeah. Oh, I crashed. Root? One, two, three. Have I been here? No. We can get a new Pokemon here. Um, we can also get our asses kicked! Ultra Ball! Wait, what's this way, actually? Now as I'm thinking about it. Um... Mount Pyre, the Safari Zone?! I don't want to go to the safari zone. Um, they say good times are filled with good aromas. I'm going to be absolutely sincere here. Good times are filled with a cute character sprite. Um, what? Yeah, so... Um, I have cooked a lot in my new place. Like, a lot, a lot. And, um... That is what has made this place feel more like home, rather than a room that I'm sitting in. The idea that I, I come home, and I can smell taco pie, because that's what I made last night. Or... You know, there's fresh cookies, or fudge, or brownies. Ow! And I made that. 
That makes me feel very, very happy indeed. Yes, I know I fought Breloom, like, 20 minutes ago. I don't remember how that fight went. Like that. Oh, I smell the bitter scent of misery. Do I want these? Because I feel like I'm not even going to use them. I haven't been using berries too much. Ooh. Do I have berries that function as ether? I'll have to check that. These ones on the left look like a Pokemon. Like wearing a hat with little feeties. To be fair, this one looks like a Pokemon as well, but like a really sad Magby. I'm sure the Berry Master won't mind me just barging into his back garden and stealing everything. Because... Uh... I'm the protagonist? Call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. Why be stingy? Take another! Be sure to visit the pretty petal shop near Rosbro. Let flowers fill the world. The way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud that he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard any good saying lately? We know what we have to do. We know what we have to say. Oh, good saying it is. You're quite remarkable. I want you to have this. Our four grandchildren should become more accomplished than my husband. Joy never goes out of my life. Let's see what those things do. I might just head home. I thought that's what that was. These are some rare ones. You use those for cooking. I like that combination. Two pieces of music that both open with a flurry upwards, and then battle, which ends with a flourish downwards. That's... Musical storytelling. That's what that is, I guess. I don't know. Actually, it's fine. The nearest Pokemon Center is just over yonder. And we can 
go to the store. Get healed up, go to the store. I love shopping. Like, in general, too, I, I love shopping. Okay. That'll do. Hopefully that'll serve me for a bit. Um... Sure, let's take ten of those. I don't really need Pokeballs right now. Although, I still didn't encounter one on one, uh, Route 123. So I can do that going forwards. So. I think the first thing the game wants me to do is go to the weather center. So let's use... Let's use Repel. And head back up. probably saw on the item description there, Repel keeps Pokemon away for a certain number of steps. 200 in this case. And I think that's great. The fact that you can't wash it off. Or... Oh no, you were surfing. And now it just doesn't work anymore. Anyway. Let's save up because I'm. This looks dangerous. That's a bed that I can sleep in, isn't it? Well, I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. <sighs> oh well. No reason. Huh? What's a kid doing here? What a great move. Take a nap. This is why this is not a Nuzlocke run. I... The sentence I have used is that I take more risks making a sandwich than I do in a Nuzlocke run. The boss got interested in the research they have going here, so he sent us out. You quit meddling! Please confuse it. Or just KO it straight. That's fine too. Poochina. I'll be fine. I can't believe it, I'm getting beaten up by a dizzy little panda. by a kid.
The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Don't know why that grunt has that voice, but that's that that's what it is now. Switch to Sure, Rickstress. That's probably a very silly move, but um that that's the move that I have used. Nice! Plans being spoiled. Oh, plans being spoiled by a kid. Rose got five hundred and forty dollars for winning. Should have chosen something better than that. We're Team Magma. We appear whenever anything rare is found. Only thing rare is that outfit, sir. Here's a pro tip, Deodorant. And you know what? <clears throat> Talking about secret power, I'll bet you that the Elite Four um, Gym Arena doesn't really do anything to help you. That was a dumb move. That's a fire type, Andy. Internal monologues are difficult, all right? It's 37 years of unlearning, but you know what? We'll get there. Uh, show kindness to oneself and others. Aha! You go to Berlin Team Magma's affairs. You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kid. What dress sphere is that? I want that. I shouldn't say that, because then it actually would be one at some point, you know? Uh, Psy Beam. Oh yeah, I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? Oh well. Hit here's a pouch. What a what a good punch. What a good Pokemon! Spinder! The best! Ah, you're disgustingly strong. We got meddled with unexpectedly. We're out of options. We'll have to pull out. But this isn't the last you see of Team Magma. We have other plans. Don't you forget it. Thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. Might be not way to thank you, but take this Pokemon. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There's plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take it. Thanks. I shall. So cast form is this little fella holding a mystic water. All right, 
Um, and it has an ice form, and a water form, and a fire form. And... It's a really cool idea. I have literally never seen it implemented successfully. Or, like, at all. I'm not entirely sure what cast form can do. Can I put tissue back in my team? Not currently. Alright. Actually, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can go there. I really want Tissue to be one of my end game team. Uh, I guess we'll have to see how that works out, won't we? Oh, is this the place? This is the place. Right. I have mentioned some absolute nonsense in this game. And... Um, one of the bits of absolute nonsense that I have mentioned, I'm just going to get out of here for now, is uh, the Pokemon Feebas. We've seen one earlier. What route is this, just so as I know to make the correct notes? 119. This is where we caught Trophius. So I don't get to catch a Pokemon here. So, in order to catch Feebas, you have to be surfing. Uh, not currently in a fight. That's always a good thing. So bear with me a brief moment while we just do this. And then we'll... Just, 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 just discharge electric shocks into the water, Spender. 20 bajillion experience points as all the Pokemon float up. That was horrible. So, the way to do it, you have to be surfing, and then you fish. Nothing. And then you fish. Now, the reason Phoebus is nonsense is it shows up in five squares in this river. Which five squares? They are randomly generated. It's part of the... the... whatever random generation seed that the game like, rolls when you start the game. That determines um, the kind of spinder you will find. It determines what your starter Pokemon will look like and their natures. Um, we're not catching Phoebus. I've caught Phoebus, and let me tell you, I was so annoyed. And then what you have to do with it is you have to give it Pokeblocks, which make it as beautiful as it can be, and then level it up. And then it will turn into Milotic, which is like this giant, elegant sea serpent. It's pretty cool. And actually a pretty good stat spread, I believe. Um, again, I mostly just used it to win the beauty contest in this game, so there you go. Dang it! I may have scared off the Pokemon that was in that square. Um, so yeah, catching Phoebus was essentially me surfing up and down going, right, square number one. Ten tries. No. Square number two. Ten tries. 
No. And I... I just got so angry at it. I'm a I could have got a Carvana. I would have taken one of those. They're pretty mean looking fellas. Look at him. He'll bite your face off. Anyway. Nice. That is me complaining about Feebas and why we are never going to see one in the wild in this game. Thank you. Bye. See, it wouldn't be as bad if they could show up in the wild like this. But no. You have to fish them. From one of five squares in this massive lake. River. I knew that. I knew that. I've, I've been looking at this quote. New. Did. Has the unthinkable happened? Did I miss Booba? Because playing X2, I couldn't stop finding him. You always think cast form has Booba. I can absolutely see it. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. That's how I will think of it always. I thought it was just soft as a cloud, but... Contetas, why not? By the way, you see how big this river is? That's why you're not catching that stupid fish. Leaf stone. What do I have that I can use that on? Uh, nothing, I don't think. Gloom off the top of my head, but I would have to work to get one of those. I'd have to level up the boy. Let's not put you up front when I'm on the river. Yeah? No? Okay. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, look at that guy. Uh... Da yeah, Dave! Get some levels, Dave. we go up against the flying type which will end me easily man talking about names I, I, I mentioned it because I got it wrong. I do my best to show myself kindness when mistakes are made. And it's weird because, like, if I use the wrong name or pronouns for a friend of mine, I go, oh, 
correct one. I'm sorry. And then everything's fine and nobody cares. But, like, hey, maybe show that same kindness to yourself? No. Oh, sulk. Oh! Oh, no. Bro! Bro! This is where you've been looking for Pokemon? Let me see how good you got. I'll test you. Now! It's a battle, so battle! I forgot how whiny a voice I gave him every time, so... I want to say I made him Titus at one point. I'm going to have a Pokemon battle and get some food. Yeah. The... Less so this portion, but the first portion of this tune sounds like it would make a really nice lullaby, actually. Like... Maybe if he stepped up to a major key or something like that? I don't know. Combuskin! That will melt Dave in a heartbeat. Uh, so... Pretty sure it's got fighting at this point. Rextrus. Go be a nuisance. Yeah, this bit. That's a nice little call and answer, which would work well as a, a lullaby. Oh, it does. I feel like this nerd is gearing up for something horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that is a song! I don't know what song, but I know of that as a song. Anyways, that that ain't a fight. That's a fight. Damn. Here's me coming into this thinking, ha! <laughs> Nerd man over here has only got three Pokemon. I'm coming in with a full team of six. And then... Didn't quite work out, did it? Shroomish. Mickey can stay out. Because I can just dig again. Shouldn't have done that. Should use flamethrower. Oh well. Now you can't poison me. And don't you look sad about it. Oh. Well, at least poison doesn't stop me from attacking. So, uh, there you go. Pretty darn decent. I got lunch. I'd say you're good enough to search for Pokemon anywhere. Here, I'll give you this. Try it out. Actually, a really useful thing to have. Use Fly, and your Pokemon instantly carries you to any town you've already visited. But you only need the Fortune Badge to do that. Anyway, I have to move along. Yeah, don't worry, Mickey. Don't worry, Mickey. We're finding a bed. Here is bed. Ah.
Right, so Fortree is where we're heading. Is that is that next? Fortree City, that's next. We might be able to get that in today's stream. Uh no. Route 119? And then uh, over there. What a perfectly ordinary tree! Up to 16 decorations of furniture can be placed in a secret base. Pick your favorite items and create your own secret base exactly the way you want. So long as there are only 16 items to lurk in shadows and live in darkness, that is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. Where's that damn fourth gym badge? That is one of my favorite stupid quotes. I love it. Dave, I, you're gonna need to get more levels. You really are. Wait, wait, wait a second. I have the, I have the HM fly. I can just use it. It's all, I only need the badge to use it outside of a battle. So what I can do, and what I had intended to do as soon as I got it, I'll be honest, this is something I've been thinking about for quite some time is Rickstress is going to learn to fly. Astonish can go. Strongbag did a jig while learning while holding all the grapes. And Rickstress learned to fly. that line. To hide a tree, use a forest. Also, Rickstress, don't... Right. Self-destruct! Ah, That would have been hilarious. Um... Rickstress, you came at me first, and don't pretend that it wasn't it, it wasn't a me or you situation. Because it was. And that's very sad. But that's how it do be. Coughing again. Uh, it's going to be... Cable car! It never works. It never works! Good job, Cable Car's other attack is fantastic. That's, see, that's how this thing goes. It doesn't, it doesn't need to know a great many moves and have a variety in its, its, its spread because it hits like a truck and that's all it needs to do is just, <laughs> right? Yes. Rickstress cured for herself of poison because she's got um, natural cure. Status ailments go away when she tags out. 
Forgot about that. That's great. Oh, oh, what was... That sounded like the start of Realms theme from Final Fantasy VI. It had that same sort of da 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 thing. Hmm. You gonna revive? Yes, you do. I'll take ten. I anticipate this fight's gonna kick my ass. Do you know what? It's the fact that it's the fake flute as well. That's what makes me think of Realm. <laughs> what I think we'll do... Let's explore the town. This city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Why, even myself. I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. Uh, we'll explore the city. We'll go start the gym next time. Living on top of trees is okay. Some nice bug Pokemon coming through the windows. They're really startling. God, I can imagine. I don't like it when, like, flies and stuff get in through the window. Imagine if it was, like, a bee drill, A three-foot-tall wasp. I'm pretty sure Beedrill is three feet tall. Just a massive buzzy boy. Merchandise you buy here is sent to your own PC. That's fantastic. I wish they could also deliver me home like that. Why? What? Oh! This is where you buy stuff for your house. Watch me not do that. I want to go to the Pokemon gym, but something is blocking the way. After all the bother I went through training on Route 120. Is that? Can I just... Something unseeable is in the way. Well, maybe we won't go to the gym in the next stream now, will we? got 10 minutes. What we'll do, we'll go and catch whatever Pokemon we're going to catch on Route 120. And then we will call it a stream. Uh, get your names ready for whatever nonsense we are about to catch. Not you. You're a, you're a fight. Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. It's because they're sick. Look at that outfit. You know. That's not going to work. She's a water type. I like how I know this after I hit the button. My powers of hindsight are spectacular. Uh, Whalmer. Let's actually send a- no, Dave. I feel like part of Dave's problem is that he's had a lot of passive leveling. And he needs to actually get some KOs so we can actually get some stats up. Just a thought. Yeah, cool. You, you, you keep doing that, Wilma. I'll keep doing this.
something I always thought about Whalmer is it looks like a burger. And I reckon they would do such a thing in the Pokemon world. Like you go to Pokedonalds or whatever the equivalent is. A Whalmer Supreme. Hell yeah, we're gonna get Leaf Blade. Um. Absorb. It's useful. Leaf Blade is better. Parasol can't ward off Pokemon attacks. Imagine taking Whalmer into McDonald's at all. The size of it. You'd have to go to the drive thru. Or the surf thru. Alright, uh, you, you hold that a second. Splendid! Alright, how close are my guys to leveling up? What we'll do... Rickstress is gonna have that. Swablu is... Really difficult to level up. So as soon as you get that level, you can have it. Right, Odish! That's one. I know. I see it's putting me to sleep as well. The Hypest Battle! Rickstress has a nap. Rickstress got woke! It did damage. Thanks, Oddish. You could have put me back to sleep again. You did. That's a much better solution. Number two. I get the impression this isn't going to have any unique Pokemon on it. Like, this route's just going to be... the standard ones that you see here and about. Which is fine. What I should do is I should probably just catch Lanoon because that way I can add one more to my Pokedex. Fast this thing is as well. Look at that. Wonderful. And one more for Cape Car. We'll do these fights and such next stream as well. Um, actually, yeah, that might be a good plan because If it's anything like Gen 1, we're going to have to go all the way to the back of the Safari Zone. And I'm pretty sure there's something in the Safari Zone that I want anyway. So... Anz is on a postcard, if you can figure out what that is. Or, I guess, look it up. 
if I'm not allowed to send my guys over for additional levels, um, because that's cheating, you're not allowed to uh, guess. That is also cheating. Uh, a reckless charge attack that also hurts the user. Uh, yeah, Peck can go. I don't think I'm going to use takedown so much. But it's nice to have it. And now... Another level for extras. What does that zinc do? I forgot I had that. Special defense. Who needs that? I don't know. Someone. Might just sell it. Spinder! I've got some X attack in there as well. That could go. Um, yes! Sorry, I mean, yes! Um, Absol is another Pokemon that I know nothing about, other than everybody goes, oh my god, get you an Absol. So that's what I'm going to do. Do we have any cool names for this guy? Have a thing, Jack. I've got nothing. You have one that you are tempted by. I, I'm gonna say go for it. These Pokeballs are defective. Absol is wounded and asleep. And it's just... It's just kicking out. Kicking out at one. Like it's the friggin' young bucks over here. Stop making wrestling references. No. Oh, Mew, that's great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Polite golf claps. That's fantastic. I haven't caught it yet. I'm gonna stop making that note. Yeah? Three? Have I got anything that can just do like minor damage to it? Ironically, Astonish. I haven't got anything that will do minor damage to it because I'm all about attacking. Mind me. Let's just do a bit of that. I feel like Steel Wing won't be effective. Ah! All right, all right, all right. We've got him. We've got him. We got him. We haven't got him. Rickstress can only use attack moves. Oh no! Whatever. I feel like the game's just taking the cake now.
Oh yeah! Uh, uh, to break breaks out of the Great Ball at one with no hit points. It's fine. Tenacious, isn't it? Um, I, that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna catch it. And uh, do something with it. See, <laughs> I've only got one, and it's not going to work. And then I'll have wasted it. See? Why can't I catch this thing? All right, strong boy, get him. Can we catch this thing in any of the next twenty seven attempts? Meb, I am. That, that's how, why I've been reduced to just sounds. <laughs> I, I choose to believe Absol did that one on purpose. I'm just, you know what? I was gonna go down for two. Make you think. I'm annoyed now. I don't like being annoyed. But this game's getting me there. This is why they invented timer balls. Thank you! Disaster Pokemon! Every time Absol appears before people, it is followed by disasters such as an earthquake or a tidal wave. As a result, it came to be known as the Disaster Pokemon. Absol Utali. Well, do you know what? That was a frustrating end to the stream, but a satisfying end to the stream. We caught Absol, a Pokemon I believe to be an absolute killer. Unless it's gonna do the Akuma thing, where like, now it's on my team, it's, it's just trash. So much trash. Anyway, let's just save the game and go find somebody to raid. I think I know who it will be. Um, that's that window and that's that scene. There we go. Who do we go and say hello to? So let's go say hello to Zarkrai. Not the person I had thought, but Zarkrai is playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which, fun fact, is the origin of Spilm! So, now you know. Slightly longer stream next week. Because, um... Oh, 
Zakurai has a guest. I'm wondering who is this voice I'm hearing. Zakurai has a guest. All right, that confused the hell out of me. Come back next week for a full schedule because I'm on super release. And until next time, <laughs> goodbye.